Yo, what's up nerds? Uh, today I have a video for you that's quite different and not just about the fact that I'm outside because unlike some of you I go outside quite often <laughs> No, it's I'm gonna be doing some first impressions uh, a first impressions video of the uh, Let's Shore uh, S12 and the Ibaso AM05 I'm going right now to collect my delivery so that's kind of exciting and yeah uh, I planned on doing this video outside, but since it started fucking raining, I don't know if I will be able to. So, if not, then uh, I'll do it at home. But this video will still be different, and that I'm actually planning to edit this bullshit, which is not something I usually do. So, yeah, there's that. Alright, so, I'm going to get my delivery right now, and I'll be back with you once I do. It stopped raining, so hopefully I'm gonna be able to record this video outside if I manage to find a reasonably dry vent. I mean, some rain is actually quite useful for me today because uh, I have no running water in my house for some reason. Uh, so yeah, I smell like a certified audiophile today and uh, for legal purposes this is a joke. Uh, I would never allow myself to smell this bad. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I'll just pick up the package now and let you nerds know. Okay, now I'm kind of mad. <laughs> so I got back home and I already started recording this video where I was testing the first IM and I did test it on three songs, only to find out that I didn't start the recording. Yes, you know, I don't want to redo it for now because this is already taking quite a lot of time. Uh, yeah, my thoughts on the Let Shore S12. Uh, so how I'm testing those today is I'm listening to three songs. The first one is Tokyo 2020 by Quebo Nafide and Taco Hemingway which is one of my favorite rap songs of all time, just the beat is beautiful. And uh, then I'm listening to Kate's Brother by Maisie Peters, which is a kind of a pop punk, very upbeat song, like, you know, basically like a 2022 version of like whatever Avril Lavigne was doing 20 years ago. And the third song I'm, I listen to is one of my favorite metal songs. Master of Puppets by Metallica. Yes, R.I.P. Uh, and I did not use the stock cable because my review unit came with the 4.4mm uh, balanced cable and I'm listening off my MacBook Air M1 which does not have a 4.4 balanced output so I just plugged in the 3.5mm cable uh, that I have which is the TRN T2 Pro which is also a modular cable and it's just a Fantastic budget cable. Now, I don't think the cable will influence the sound, but those of you who are afraid that it might, I will, of course, test the S12 with its stock cable for the review. I just didn't have the patience to do that today. So, all right, with all of that said, uh, what did I think of it? Well, the first song, Tokyo 2020. I really wish you had the recording because I was I was bopping this song. It was it was really good. Like uh, the, it was one of the bassiest, like one of the strongest bass, some of the strongest bass I ever heard on any I am, which is impressive. And I had one caveat with this song is that the vocal sounded it, it didn't sound like recessed into the mix, but it sounded weird as if like the vocalist had the razor in his throat which was not very pleasant but i still enjoyed the song then the second song kate brother by uh Maisie peters i really wish you could see that reaction because i did not enjoy the song one iota it was oh ouch like this song showed me that the the driver in this one 
is a fucking banger. Like the like the instrument separation, the separation between like the overdubs and you know like the placement, left channel, right channel, sense channel, like the resolution is really good, but the tuning just did not work for the song at all. Like because you know this bass shell is basically made for like electronic synthetic bass, right? But when you have like bass coming from kick drums or bass guitars, it really doesn't work that well. And um, like the, for example, with bass guitars, the lowest notes that, she, that they played in the song, they like had the body, had like the rumble and stuff, but it didn't have like the melodic quality to it. I, 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 I hope that makes sense, but it just wasn't that great. And the third song I listened to, uh, oh yeah, and mainly Peter's vocal vocal was shouty and recessed at the same time, which was weird. And um, yeah, the third song I listened to, Master of Puppets by Metallica, it just confirmed those findings for me, because the, like, the resolution on this is just bonkers. Like, coming, coming from memory, uh, I would say, I didn't A-B them or yet or anything, but I would say the instrument separation is just a step behind the final Audio A4000 and mid-range detail is just a step behind the Moondrop Blessing 2 but that also means the mid-range detail is better than the A4000 and the separation is better than the Blessing 2 so the resolution of those is kind of nutty for the price but then again the tuning it was more of a mixed bag with the song. I didn't like fully dislike it. There, uh, like, there was some nice emphasis on uh, like the electric guitar, which sounded amazing. And but but like James Hetfield's vocal was like completely lost in the mix, so that wasn't great. So mixed bag. I will now move on to the second AM which is the Ibasso AM05 and then at the end if I still have like some storage left on my phone that I'm using to record this I will record another like live impression of another song like I don't know maybe up to the moon by Megadeth or something all right so let's move on to the second AM for today uh, this is the Ibasso AM05 now whereas the S12 was a single playing of driver this one has five drivers installed. It. All five of them are balanced amateurs, so that's a you know full BA set. No dynamic driver, no nothing, not a hybrid. So let's test it out. Five BAs. Let's see if it's five times as good. <laughs> okay, so we'll start with the first song, which will be Tokyo 2020. Besides some issues getting a seal in my left ear, which was weird, this might be my favorite IEM of all time. Like, I, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm just, I'm, this is one song, right? But holy fuck is this good. <laughs> like, uh, first, some fun, one fun thing I noticed is like, do you know, it's very easy to know when you have a bad seal earphone because I had some problems getting it in my left ear because as soon as you lose the seal like the vocals get so much louder <laughs> which is which is like the you know it's different behavior than like a hybrid or a dynamic driver I am would have so it's really easy to know if you have a seal of them and the tuning is like it's neutral but it's I don't know, just like, still, of course, first impressions, haven't done A-B tests, but it feels so much more engaging than the Moondrop Blessing 2, like, there is, the bass is, it's, hmm, it's, 
punchier than the Blessing 2. The quality of the bass is not great, but it's also like way punchier than I expected it to be based on graphs and based on the fact that it's like, you know, just 5B8 in this. So that's impressive. <laughs> but the mid range and treble, like, the mid range and treble are on this song at least, they, which, you know, it's a rap song, so not the greatest test. But they sounded basically perfect. Like. Shapoba. And like the, the. There was so much bloody detail in this set. Like, what the fuck is going on? Alright, I'm gonna. I'm gonna listen to Kate's brother right now. Because I, I, I think we might have a winner. I think we might have a potential winner right here. Okay, second song. Kate's brother, Maisie Peters. Let's go. Fucking wow! Those things. I'm in love. <laughs> like the 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 song, the words. I uh, I haven't had this feeling from any IEM besides. I don't. I, I don't think even the Sony Z1R and the Tear of Your Monarch made me this emotional. <laughs> it's crazy. It's absolutely bonkers. Uh, the, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm on the loss for words. Like the. Okay. Turn this pick. Uh, yes, I, I see that there are some flaws. Like the sub bass is rolled off as it was in the first song, and in this song there is no sub bass because it's, you know. No, no electronic music. Uh, the the Maisie's vocals were just a tad too warm or too shouty. But like those are such minor nitpicks. Like the the detail on this is <laughs> it's crazy. And the the the, the mm, how how do you call it the. Okay, instrument separation was also great. Soundstage was very wide. The only thing that stood out to me as like not so great when it comes to resolution was the imaging, which is a bummer. But <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, third test, Master of Puppets, because you know, two songs in, this is already looking like my potential favorite IEM of all time. Right. Third song, Master of Puppets, Metallica, R.I.P. Eddie. <laughs> Let's go, I'm so excited for this. Okay, after listening to the first three and a half minutes of Master of Puppets, I really wish you guys had the video of me reacting to the S12 first impression versus this. I think my body language is speaking for me. Right, so. Wow. Okay. Um. Wow. This thing is legit. <laughs> like there, there are some flaws. Like it is maybe slightly bit warm. Maybe there's something not quite perfectly tuned with the mid range. But as those are nitpicks. I think the set is legit. I'm not 
usually like this when reacting to Yu-Gi-Oh! In fact, I've heard so much like insane shit like, you know, the four and a half thousand dollar final D8000 Pro like, you know, it's really hard to get excited about like gear that costs like, you know, it's not about the cost, right? But like the gear that's like a fraction as good as the D8000 Pro and the AMO5 gets me excited. Okay, just to not make this video really long, because I'm gonna have to edit it right after I finish recording this, listening to one of those I am. Can you guess which one is it? Uh, I did spend the entire day listening to those two, took a shower and stuff like that, right? So, the preliminary verdict is the S12, it's pretty good, it's really good, it's probably going to go around B tier on my list, which is, you know, really high for an IM, because the resolution is very good, the tuning, not so much, I mean, it's not bad, I just don't really like V-shapes, and this a V-shape that is also quite bright, and way to sub base focus for my taste, but it's fine. It's a good IM. It's a really good IM. Um, so yeah, B tier, probably, maybe B minus, we'll see. The AM05, though, I did more listening to it. And I gotta say, with more listening, the Feelings of excitement that I got at first. Uh, they didn't subside at all. It's S tier, S minus, baby. <laughs> oh, holy shit. That's a winner. This is probably my favorite I am so far. Maybe with more listening, I'll find more flaws. That's entirely possible. So don't run out and buy the AM05 just yet. Don't. J just don't. Okay. Okay. This is a first impressions video. I don't want to hype it up too much. But <laughs> being said, I am fucking hyped about it. It's, it's just such a great fucking set. I love how it sounds. So far. So far. For legal purposes. <laughs> so far. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna end this video right now. Listening to music on the zero five in the background. So yeah, that's been it. Uh, it's... Simon here from the Casual Audiophile Show. Uh, now, videos like this with editing and stuff, even if this one is scuffed, they still take a lot of effort compared to the videos that I usually do. So if you did like seeing me in small, like, you know, uh, structured, edited content, then be sure to not only drop a like, subscribe, do all the YouTube bullshit and stuff like this, but also just let me know in the comment that you do appreciate that form, or maybe that you prefer my, you know, normal, more free-flowing content. Just let me know, because I don't know if it's, if it does make my videos better to do them like this, then I will continue doing them like this. And if it does not, then I would much rather just live stream the reviews once I fix whatever the fuck is turning on my recent videos into slideshows. So there's that. Alright, I've uh, been rambling on for too long, so for now, cheers. Have a good one.